It wasn't that long ago, early spring, we're waiting for snow to melt so we can go outside and play baseball. And now we're directly into the heat of summer. Temperature in the lower right hand side of your screen, sizzling hot already. 93 degrees, your headlines. As we head into Tuesday, we'll have some record heat potential here in a few areas, particularly the Red River Valley and eastern portions of North Dakota. Then a severe weather threat for our western counties. We could see some large hail and gusts over 60 and well, we declared first alert weather day for those conditions. Here's what you need to know. We also have smoke returning to the valley as we head through the next few days. A few of our counties could get to some levels that uh, will cause some problems. We're going to go over all that right now, though. The current conditions are hot. 90 at Moorheads Airport, 93 at Hector. Winds gusting to 35 miles per hour out there. Look at how dry things are on the dike in Grand Forks and has a few viewers from Grand Forks County call and say, Hutch, we haven't even had a drop of rain in your area, and it has been amazing hit and miss. And for those who are getting missed, it's really dry and that allows these temperatures to really ramp up quickly. 91 in Grand Forks, 95 in Jamestown and Oaks, Aberdeen, 102 sizzling degrees. Well into the 80s in parts of western Ottertail County, 86 for you in Detroit Lakes, and it cools off significantly out to the east in Duluth and for Bemidji. 103 in South Dakota's capital at this hour. Now we do have a few showers their way out in the oil patch, drifting up into parts of Manitoba, so no threat right now. Uh, the atmosphere is just too hot even above for storms to form. But out in the central Dakotas, we could see some strong storms tonight. There'll be hail and gust potential west of our viewing area. There'll be a slight chance that a couple of storms later this evening could flirt with severe levels, but I'm not convinced. We'll show you that right now. Your hour by hour forecast shows as we go from the seven to nine o'clock hour. Boom, a couple of thunder showers here could be gusty winds. There could be some hail with a couple of these cells, but notice again, just like always hit and miss the rest of us hot and windy. Now, as we go through the overnight hours, the shower chances slip up into Canada and by and large, it's going to be a quiet overnight and hot. Look at these temperatures first thing in the morning. 70s wind already gusty as you're heading out the door on your way to work and a little on the humid side as well. That means there's moisture for thunderstorms, right? And check out these temperatures tomorrow. 99 degrees would break the record in Fargo. 97 would be close to that record in Grand Forks. So record potential tomorrow. We could likely see 100 degrees in a few areas, even here in the metro area going through the afternoon. Thunderstorm chances after drive time will last into the overnight hours. Gusty wind and large hail will be the main threat. Look at where they're stapled out to the west. It's where all that rain looks to be likely. Devil's Lake Basin, James River Valley, have your Valley News Live weather app handy. Here's where the risk of severe storms will be the greatest. In the yellow, we could see a couple of storms reach severe levels. Uh, no severe expected for Fargo Moorhead. In fact, I think we'll be lucky to see a drop of rain in any of these light green out, uh, counties here. Uh, unhealthy air alerts have been issued again for our lakes counties. Noon Tuesday, it takes effect. Here's a look at the blue levels. Not as high as last week, but still, if you have respiratory illness, know that those numbers will be on the way up. We'll keep you posted on your Valley News Live weather app. Loony weather, you could say. Sherry, what an awesome photo and a beautiful bird. Can you hear him? <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Summer begins Wednesday, believe it or not. It is a day with the most hours of sunlight. It will feel summer like a best chance of rain in Fargo during the work week comes on Wednesday. Saturday could be another chance of rain here in the valley. We'll look forward to as well and keep you posted on as we cool off from the near 100 degree heat into the mild mid 80s. It wasn't terrible. It was like loon mixed with cat. You know, I'll have to work on it. Fix <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> Coming up, I some say this year's planting and growing season has been particularly challenging. Stick around.